I bet winter's coming, man. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, D Timothy Vlogs. And yeah, right now it's the 2nd of November, which means new month, new blessings, new opportunities. And to be honest, I'm looking forward to this month just because academically, I feel like this is my month to just get everything to where I want it to be in preparation for my final exams for the end of the semester because as you would have seen in previous vlogs I've just come back from New York now this is like the second part let's call it part two chapter two of my first semester out here in Canada so I've got final exams coming up in December that's my focus for this month just focusing on academics a lot more because I really did a lot last semester especially in October I decided to allocate that as my birthday month of celebrations even though my birthday was in September but to be honest I'm just grateful for everything that I've been able to do like you would have seen it over the last couple of vlogs maybe five six even where I've just been able to not only go to Toronto and experience that city and that culture but to also go to what Ripley's Aquarium walk around Scotiabank Arena which is where the Raptors play and the the Maple Leafs but also go to the Rogers Center where the Toronto Blue Jays play. Just experiencing all of that. Went to the Real Jerk where Rihanna and Drake filmed their video for work. Which, if you haven't heard of that song, I don't, I don't know what you're doing then. <laughs> yeah, that was also an unexpected, amazing experience as well. Going to Canada's Wonderland and then just pushing myself to go on every single ride. Every single big ride, I was there screaming my head off. But I was still there, do you know what I mean? So just pushing myself to get out of my comfort zone once again and enjoying the consequences. Just like I've pushed myself to get out of my comfort zone with vlogging my year abroad. And to be honest, I'm already seeing the benefits of pushing myself, starting this off as a simple summer ho hobby during the summer holidays and yeah, reaping the benefits of it already. So many unexpected, amazing things have happened on this year abroad already, just because I've tricked myself into jumping off into out of my comfort zone, basically. Enjoyed the consequences. Just can't wait to see what else happens. Because it's only been what? Like three months since I first decided to start even experimenting with vlogging and editing. So yeah, basically I can't wait to even just watch these back in like a couple years back, a couple years time, sorry. Sorry, it's early in the morning. Right now it's like, I don't even know. I've got to yeah, head over down to the other side of campus through all of this rain and just go to my Spanish seminar for an hour. Then I'm literally gonna spend most of the day doing work, trying to get head start on all these assignments so that I fully understand what they're asking of me. But I'm looking forward to the day. Perfect. widen my horizons in terms of what I've been eating. Can't be doing the meal plan every single day. I'm gonna go down to downtown Peter and get some nice Arabian food. Yeah, so that's my plan. So it's just annoying that stereotype is still true even over here on the other side of the pond that <laughs> they still run out of food. So literally the only meat that they had was jerk chicken. But that's still fine. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the bus now to head back to campus. And it's cold. I would actually explore but it's just it's two degrees or less now. And to be honest, there's not even that much to explore. In terms of downtown, it's literally just two high streets. So yeah, the bus is coming now though I think. I'll be in my bed. Perfect. 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 Like 
five, six weeks until the first exam. But I want to just make sure I'm on top of everything and fully understanding things. And I was speaking to my friend John again, literally last night. He and himself, I don't even know if he noticed this, but he motivated me again. Just make sure that I'm putting in the work that I know I can put in and achieve a hundred percent in my assignments and stuff like that. I've already received some midterm grades back. I've been basically sitting on the eighty percent line. Got seventy eight percent in one, eighty three percent in another. I need to always be trying to achieve the greatest and that's 100% so let me try and get it let me try and get 100% yeah I'm just speaking into existence that despite feeling sluggish I had an amazing reading week don't get me wrong but I barely did any work so <laughs> I have to try and not even catch up because I'm on top of all the readings and stuff but I just want to get to the position that I think I should be at so that's what I'm about to do but as you can see it's a blessed day outside man the sun is back <laughs> even though it's still like single digit degrees outside the sun's back that's all that matters to me Sunday's the day where I just outline all my goals and then throughout the week I just try and stick to all of them so that's what I'm going to do but yeah today is a blessed day already I was just here minding my business, literally just came back in, come back, and it starts to snow. Just as I'm starting to get excited for Afro Banner, to remind me of Caribbean culture and African culture, it starts to snow. <laughs> well, well, winter's coming. But yeah, as I said, Afro Balance this weekend and I'm looking forward to it. Yes, yeah, so now I'm looking forward to relax this weekend to see what Afro Banner is all about. There is supposed to be Trent's Taxu, which is the Trent Afro Caribbean Student Union Society's biggest event of the year as well. So that's what I'm looking forward to as well. And I'm expecting acts, like good dancers, singers, whatever, whatever's coming. You know what? I'm just looking forward to see what happens. 